everyone, what's going on? It is me, your girl, Miss Rose from RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. And today I'm gonna be transforming into my entrance look from episode one. So it's time to watch me go from this to this. All right, everyone, so this is going to take a long time, maybe several years. Uh, we've got lots of brows to cover. We've got lots of beard to cover. There's a lot of coverage that's going to be happening before we can actually carve out this mug and become a womana. So the very first thing I'm gonna do today is wipe my face off. I just shaved and I just washed my face recently, but I'm gonna take a fresh makeup wipe and actually wipe around my skin a little bit to remove any excess dirt and oil that may have come in contact with my pores in the last 10 minutes. Now that that's done, I'm just going to, you know, let it dry. Okay, so now I need to prime my face. I'm gonna be using a very dense pore filling primer that dries really matte. Oh, can I, can I swear in this? Now this, because it's mattifying, dries really quickly. So I'm gonna immediately massage it into my face concentrating around the T-zone, the nose, where the pores are bigger for me. If not for you, lucky you. Great, so we are now primed. Drag queens and makeup artists use those face tapes that you put like here, and it just snatches you up. I'm poor as so I'm actually not gonna do that. I am going to take an ace bandage, pulls my hair back, and also it gives me something to pin my wig into, which is really important, especially if you're gonna be moving, dancing. It helps to have something solid that is right next to your skin. Usually I would get a fresh ace bandage, but I'm not feeling very usual today, so I'm gonna use an old one that I found in my makeup bag. It's literally disgusting, and who cares, because no one's gonna see it, except for you. This is ridiculous. <sighs> I know that looked uncomfortable, but I was just acting. So the face is primed, the skin is taut. Now it is time to glue down these motherfucking eyebrows. It's very trendy and common now for drag queens to just shave their brows. That's a great fucking idea, unless you look like me. Look at my profile. It, well, actually, that's my bad side. Literally, it like goes like that. And look how big my eyebrows are. If I shaved them, do you know how crazy I would look? Let's find out. So I brought a razor, I'm just kidding. Makeup wipe, it is completely damp, moist, clean. Okay, that is important because they dry very quickly. And if you wait too long to wipe away excess, you are going to have scaly skin. <laughs> this is actually the cap of a lip liner. So I'll just use it as a, a glue applicator. And I'm just going to quickly and evenly apply it in the brow and trying to keep it on the brow. So this is literally, I'll describe what this is in a second. First, I have to actually use it. Okay, so I have just applied that first layer and I brushed it up with my little tool. This is actually something I've been using the entire time I've been doing drag. It's so gross. People see it, they're like, what the f is that rosé? But I swear by it, there's nothing that works better. It's one of those eyebrow brush things that I use to brush up. And when this glue product dries each time after I use it, it forms like another little coat of the dried glue and it just becomes this glob. And I swear, nothing lays the glue back like the glue itself. It's like skin on skin contact. I'm going to now get a powder puff and some setting powder. Yeah, I'm just gonna press that in to the brow. Okay, so now it's on there. I'm going to attack it viciously and vigorously. Do not try this at home. I'm going to brush away with a clean brush. Gorgeous. In the meantime, bitch, we are going to cover this mother beard. So as we're waiting for the second layer of glue to dry, I'm just going to wonder what is on that. Ew, it's sick. Always look at your makeup before you put it on. Girl, especially if you travel and you just take it out or it's been sitting around, you don't wanna like start applying something and there's like a huge like pubic hair on it. And I don't know how that happened, Joanne, but you need to figure that out. Okay, so I'm not gonna use too much of this. I'm like barely scraping it across and dotting across this. What did I tell you, mama? It's orange. So I'm just gonna literally take my clean fingers Wash your hands before you do your makeup because you're probably gonna use them a lot. I'm also th so thrilled that I have this as a foundation option in case I decide to be a pumpkin uh, next year for Halloween. So save some money on that one. So I'm just blending this down over my ridiculously enormous sharp jaw. I'm about to cut my finger. Owie, owie, owie. 
Some people use a jade roller. I put orange paint on my fingers and slap it. Okay, gorge. So that's done. The glue is looking like it's nice and dry. It's about as clear as it's gonna get. I'm also being really, really weary of keeping my eyes closed. Getting powder in your eye is very easy and very uncomfortable, and it can actually disrupt your entire, not only process of getting into drag, but night of being in drag. These nose creases, mama, get the in there. I'm going to take one of the like cleaner, more damp still corners, now that I've brushed that away, and I'm going to wipe away just the inner corners of my eye, and actually the outer corners too, just gently. Just wanna keep these eyes as moist and clean as possible, because you don't wanna be putting your eyeliner on over 17 layers of cream and powder. That's just not gonna look good or feel good. We're going to now do my creams. I'm just gonna start going in. Now, I love this part, because you can just do a spiral. Oh my God, do you see what I'm doing, bitch? That was so, like, I just, I wanna take a photo now and post that instead of the actual look, because that is art. You want to make sure that you are, um, in addition to using a at least relatively clean sponge, you want to use a damp sponge. So get it wet and then not sopping, but just so it has some moisture. That will really help spread your foundation around and blend things together. I just made that up, but I think that's what it does. Now, I have a horse's face, so I need to like really make sure I'm getting into these motherfucking creases. Now I'm gonna go in with my cream highlight which is literally white. <laughs> and I'm applying to the center of my face and a little tiny bit right there. What you're doing is you're bringing certain areas and shapes forward. That is how, with makeup, you can completely change the shape and dimension of your face. This is like a huge masculine part of my face that I'm going to try my best to feminize. I'm going to go in with my cream contour. So I'm just gonna use the product directly I'm just blending this out. We want it to be darker on the outside of the face. Further into the face, we want things to be lighter. I naturally have really ferocious cheekbones, so I don't need to do too much to accentuate that or falsify that look. Now, I'm not finished with my cheek, but I'm already doing this. You can like f around and do different orders and whatever. I think something really important about makeup in order to get better and to learn is to try new things. So I try and like switch my f every time I do makeup. Just get a little bit of product. You don't need much and I'm going to carve out my nose. Nose makeup is really important in drag. I have a cute nose, to be honest. I'm not gonna like change mine so dramatically, but like some drag queens, some people, so anyone who wears makeup actually, like to pinch their nose so hard. And when you do your nose, you're essentially like creating the opposite shape because like your nose is a triangle that goes like this and you want it to go like that instead. If you're feeling really frisky, make it a square mama, just like go for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my clean finger and I'm going to blend the outside of this. Do the same thing on this side, mama. Stunning, stunning, stunning. That is looking gorgeous. That's actually looking really gorge. Um, ah! The creams is done. The creams is done. I'm gonna go in with that same white powder where I applied white with cream. Set the neck, the throat. So I'm gonna go over again the areas that I put that white cream, starting with my upper lip and moving over the cheek. Being really careful to truly create a new shape. If it goes too far this way or down, too far out or down, or if it doesn't go out far enough, it's not gonna be the most feminine shape for my face. Putting a tiny, tiny, tiny dot right there. Now I'm going to paint my tits. Oh. That's not safe for work. Okay, um, and if you're watching this at work, you better work, bitch. You better get back to work, mother Okay. I'm just gonna blend this up into the neck, as we're going to refer to it. If you look on your diagram. I'm going to take the cream contour on this brush and doing just like a little, like apostrophe in that direction. You don't want to paint your tits too high. That is like a common error. I'm also concentrating on getting the shape to kind of go up more than out. Drag queens sometimes paint their tits and they do, it really looks like a circle. But I don't think boobs look like that. And I haven't seen boobs in a really long time, but like, I kind of remember. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm going to, my nature sponge, I'm gonna blend just windshield wipers up and down, starting from the outside. Gorge, really making sure I don't touch the inside edge because that needs to stay a little sharper. Damn, didn't that look good? That's fierce. 
Okay, I'm going to just set the f out of that. So I'm going to now dip into my favorite contour palette, remembering that I'm trying to eliminate both these two triangles and this trapezoid. Of course, in makeup, you can fix everything, but bitch, we don't have all day. So I'll try and get it right the first time. Like just swipe above here, mama, yes. Just a little bit, not too much. If it's Halloween and you're using purple contour, mama, get the f in there, be a skeleton. But you see how that just kind of like, deepens that a little bit and makes it pop out. It makes me look so terrifyingly thin, which paired with like humongous hair, is gonna make me look like a woman. Now I'm going to do my cheeks, starting from the outside because we want it to what? Be darker and more concentrated on the outside. There's lots of different like brush techniques. One is a uh, windshield wiper where you just go like this. One is swirly whirly. And then one is, um, Ding dong. The nose is an area where you wanna be really careful about the product that you're using and the amount. You're going to contour your nose, you're also going to highlight it. Too much of either is gonna make you look crazy. It's literally the center of your face. Don't put too much makeup on it. Okay, so the contour or powdering, whatever is done, I can go in and do my blush now. My favorite part of makeup is blush. Blush makes you look like you're alive. Do not look dead, unless you want to, but honestly, stop. Oh my God, bitch, that is stunning. The face is like fully carved out and like blendiana right now. I think that we should actually move on to the brows. And I'm just gonna freehand this, angle it upward. So because my brow bone protrudes a lot, I kind of have to draw like a straight line. Well, I don't have to, but I like to. And it also just makes you look like super bitchy and bitchy and why not bitch, that's everything. And we want this area in the center to be free for interpretation later. I might draw individual hairs and bring them in, but we don't want to start out limiting ourselves. We want options. I'm going to use a, like a red eyeshadow and slowly blend it forward into the center of the face, into the center of the brow. And as you can see there, I'm again, ding dong, ding dong, tap, tap, tap in. And I'm going to attack my face with hot pink eyeshadow. I'm just blending this, really trying to pack it right above the eye and into this inner corner, this giant cavernous crease. And we're blending the product up and out. So it kind of starts to form like some sort of a triangle with your eyebrow. Now I'm gonna go and carve out my eyebrow. Like I said earlier, I'm going to clean it up with white cream and swipe it starting in the middle of my brow underneath. Up. I'm going to now set that with really bright white eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of it on a new brush, of course. And just pack that in, starting in the middle, going out, starting to blend down a little bit and blending towards the center. Just ever so slightly tapping this motherfucker so that it blends. I don't wanna to cover too much of the white I just did, but I did do a lot. My bad. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take a brown fine tip eyeliner and I'm going to create individual hair strokes. So now I'm gonna take a black eyeliner and I'm just gonna really, really carefully draw a quick thin line to just cut under the brow. I'm gonna leave this for now. I think that looks fing stun. Let's move on. We're going to go in and paint this little white stripe. My poor eye. That's another thing. Girl, if your body is not responding in the way you want it to, girl, lean into it. I think this may turn into a crying look today on purpose. So stay tuned and we'll see if I need to do that. My nose won't stop running and my eye won't stop watering. This is my first single, it's coming out. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we good still? Okay, so now I'm going to use almost like a mildly fluorescent nectarine. And I'm also gonna blend it up into the existing eyeshadow. And we'll blend these two shades together. That's honestly looking so beautiful. I think I have to stop. Now, I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. Get the f out of here. Ugh, I can breathe. I'm fully gagged right now at myself for just slapping on eyeliner, feeling like all three of the blind mice from that one story. Mama, call me Dakota, because I am fanning. Okay, so that is like hideous. That should be like a little, but like I f***ed it up and I just, whatever, it's gonna look fine. I have huge lower lashes and mascara is gonna kind of cover that. And if we have more issues, I've got another secret that I can't wait to tell you. Swipe up, I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, okay, cool. Those are completely almost even. 
And what's more important is that, as I stated earlier, I don't care. All right, so let's start by putting on mascara. And again, the point of putting mascara on before a false lash and drag is just to make sure that the lash on your body is blending as seamlessly as possible into your false lash. Let's put on false lashes. I love these little tools that like you can't fuck your eyebrow with it. And I like to use that just to place the lash perfectly. I'm just gonna press down a little bit to make sure that it's secure. I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose, taking a very, very fine brush. I'm gonna start here and just kind of give myself a little like, oh, get a little bit more and just drag it all the way, drag it all the way down. We don't want too much of this highlight powder, she said while applying more vigorously um, because you don't want to look like the Tin Man. Now what I'm gonna do is take a brush that just literally fell in half. Um, new brushes for kids. Tiny fingers, it's not a problem. Then I'm gonna take only the brightest color and blend out from under the eye and down. Being careful not to go too far out to destroy what we have contoured and blushed. Even though, bitch, I'm about to go right the f back in and do more blush, cause I love blush. Provide a bit more blush now that everything is almost done. I'm also gonna blend it into that electric mango color so that that creates like a little moment. Oh, bitch. Take that same kind of peachy highlight and just like do a quick little swipe over the actual point of the cheekbone on either side. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used to contour my nose. We wanna shorten the nose a little bit. I think it looks nicer to have the tip of your nose be a little bit rosier, rosier, uh, so that you look like you're A, alive, and B, like it's maybe kind of outside and your nose can't stop running through this entire tutorial. We are almost done. I'm going to finish my eye and do a lip. Okay, so that looks just about stunningly gorge it's time to add a lip and become the full rosé it's really important to have like a creamy smooth lip liner it's the same kind that i use for my eyebrow my lower lip i way overdraw because you can't actually tell it just looks like a big sexy juicy lip and the lower my lip goes the shorter my chin gets. Something that I'm always trying to feminize in drag is my jaw and chin. Having said that, like don't draw your f***ing lip down to like here. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna do like a nice blushy rose color lip. This is a matte liquid lipstick. It's like an exciting pink nude and I've got plenty of those. Lipstick is on and now I'm just gonna take matte liquid glitter. It's in an orange shade, like a tangerine almost. And I'm just gonna add a little bit over. Oh, fuck, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't set my face. You're supposed to set your face before you put on your lips, but I don't care today. My setting spray is for theater performers who are dancing and sweating. It is not like a beauty moment. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of chunky liquid glitter, just because let's do drag today. All right, y'all, I am fully in makeup. I feel gorgeous and I can't wait to fully feel my rosé fantasy. But to do that, I have to get my wig and outfit on. I'll be back in just a second. And I actually forgot to do the final and most important detail of this look, which of course is my reveal into having a missing tooth. The trick to doing this is to making sure that your teeth are A, clean, and B, dry as a fucking fuck. I'm gonna take this piece of toilet paper and use it in my mouth. It's gonna dry the one tooth. I cannot close my mouth or my lips. I have to let my teeth show and stay dry, otherwise it'll get wet. So I'm gonna take my eyeliner and just color in. Okay, just get the air going. Again, if I let my lip come down, it's gonna go everywhere and I have to start over. Let's do a little test. Okay, and or dry. I'm feeling absolutely stunning. I hope that you all find a way to have great dental health, like me, and also to be beautiful. If you need uh, any tips, again, just rewind and I gave them all already, so. <laughs> Look up.
over here, the Drag Race YouTube channel is always bringing amazing content. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing.